Hi. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to get started with the open source content management system WordPress. Alibaba Cloud supports launching and hosting multi tier WordPress installations, providing more scalable, secure, and faster experiences. As demonstrated in this tutorial, a two tier installation uses Alibaba Cloud Elastic Compute Service ECS, and is then extended with Alibaba Cloud Apsara DB for RDS to host the MySQL database. Before we get started, you'll need an Alibaba Cloud account. We'll assume you already have one. Whenever we need to pick a region, we'll use Europe 1, Frankfurt. Using Alibaba Cloud products in the same region enables faster connectivity and increased security. We will deploy WordPress from an image on the Alibaba Cloud Marketplace. Choose the Marketplace listing, select Choose Your Plan, log into your console, and choose a new pay as you go ECS instance to host WordPress. Click Agree Terms and Buy Now, then Activate to confirm your order. After setting up the ECS instance, reset the instance password inside the ECS console, and then restart the instance for the password change to take effect. Make sure your security group settings are applied. Here, we allow access via SSH, HTTP, and HTTPS to the ECS instance. Again, restart the ECS instance to make sure the settings have taken effect. Now, we will set up the database on Apsara DB for RDS. In the console, create an Apsara for MySQL instance through Apsara DB for RDS. During configuration, be sure the network type is set to VPC. Here we are buying a basic MySQL server in the same location as our ECS instance. Return to the console to manage the new RDS instance. To connect to the ECS instance via SSH, you will need to generate a key pair and download the .pem file to your computer. Then we bind the key pair to your ECS instance and restart the instance. Here, we set the permissions on the .pem file so only the user can access it. Connect to the ECS instance via SSH and disable the ECS MySQL as we will not be using it. On the RDS Instance Manage page, click Set Whitelist in blue under Basic Information and add your ECS Instance private IP to allow the ECS Instance to connect to the RDS Instance. This then gives us the RDS intranet address. Create a database user account and password. Create a database, adding the database user account and granting all read write privileges. Now connect via SSH onto the ECS instance and configure the new MySQL host configuration by editing the wp-config file. Alternatively, you could use a visual FTP client such as FileZilla or Transmit, as we use here, and use SFTP to connect to the instance. Here we set the .pem file from our key pair. Navigate to forward slash data forward slash www root forward slash default forward slash wp dash config dot php and edit the database name, database username, password, and RDS intranet address. After editing, you can test the settings are correct and the WordPress site is working by pinging the address of the RDS instance or visiting the ECS instance public IP. 
By visiting this IP, you can proceed with the WordPress setup. If you see the error message, Error Establishing Database Connection, this is usually an error in the wp-config file, but also check your RDS whitelist includes the ECS instance to allow it to connect. Now you will want to set up your domain, setting an A record to point to the ECS public IP. Here we will use the naked domain, that's the domain without any prefix such as www, and enter the at symbol into the host name for the A record. You could use www for the host name and then forward the naked domain to the www dot domain of your site. Your WordPress site is now ready to use. Thanks for listening. To find out more, see www.alibabacloud.com. Thank <music> you.